But in recent history, the terrorist side has been a little bit more effective, a little bit more easy to get rounds as they progress forward. And we're going to see if this new lineup for Ace can do anything here because Disciple's kind of a new addition to him. Rabbit didn't really play with him last season. Mo, obviously, after his unbanned from ESCA, he's able to play again. And he's going to be on this roster, and it looks like they're going to be going for a quick B hit here in this uh, pistol round. So coming on through, they're going to drop the smokes. It's a coordinated uh, play here, and spamming on through, going to find some good damage on him. Mo. To start things off, Peck's also down to 57. No frags yet. There it is. Now it's going to explode. Rabbit's going to be able to find Hazed. FNS goes into Mo. That bomb is down on a four versus four. FNS coming around with the support from Tarek, and they're going to go to battle here at the B Long Halls, and Tarek's going to be able to find one. Rabbit does manage to take down FNS, but that's going to leave it all down to Ape now as Disciple goes down to Tarek's USP headshot, and Ape's going to be over here on the short B hallway, and Going to go ahead and tap the bomb, and he's staring down the gun barrels of three pistols, and just like that, it's going to be CLG taking the pistol round. Yeah, actually, it was a great entry into the bomb site. Some good kills came out, even, you know, eventually it was a two-on-two -two trade, but initially with four players alive, they had the bomb planted in the smokes, and they all fell back, and they were all in the same position, and you saw, you know, CLG was just able to surround them from, from different angles, and at a certain point, Terrorists just kind of explode, and they all go their separate ways, just trying to spread out and cover different areas, but unfortunately, they're all taken out into one-on-one -on -one battles, so... Solid retake from CLG who finds those quick flanks and gets back into the bomb site, gets that defuse, so 1 0 for them. And they're going to see that actually only with two, uh, two SMGs. They got a bunch of rifles otherwise. Yeah, and it's like you said, basically, case in point, beautiful retake from them. They managed to push around from Squeaky Door to Long B as well and just pinch them in that bomb site. And they've set up for those trades. We talked about how important the trades are. And now Tarek's going to be coming under fire here. And JDM's going to be the first one. Tarek's going to go ahead and fall back. They smoke off the bathrooms, but they're going to go ahead and push around. And nice spray down from Tarek, controlling that. He does get dinked, but he's going to be able to pick off two. And that's going to leave JDM aggressive up here, just waiting for them to maybe try to push through one of these two smokes. He's gonna go ahead and lob a pot flash around the corner. He's not going to go ahead and peek. I'll just try to keep him honest in the backside of the bathrooms right now. And that's going to be Disciple, Pex, and Ape all cordoned off in that area. And now comes the push out. And Disciple's going to be able to take down JDM, so that's going to leave it all on Tarek over here. Well, actually, he is joined by Cutler, so Cutler does manage to find Ape, takes him down, and now Cutler looking for a second one. Tarek's going to find a third, and Cutler, ooh, nice shot, goes down. Pex is going to be able to try to get something going here, but Hayes is going to be there to sweep him up 2-0 now for CLG. Yeah, and wisely, Tarek just hides behind the truck and stays alive with that Colt. Didn't want to lose any more, any more equipment. They probably they would have been able to recover it, but it's, you know, it's the armor, and it's buying another gun, so... Nicely done by him, but decent damage, and with that plan on the first round, there is going to be a buy from Ace. You see Mo picking up the scout, can't afford the op, and he decides not to go with an AK-47. So four AKs and a scout. We'll have to see where Mo plans to put that to use. It does look like he's going to head up towards the A-bombs. And actually four players heading over uh, towards the fountain, towards playground, but we do have a long push from JDM and Tarek. Yeah, and this could completely negate what they have going on because Pistol out, Mo coming around the corner. He is going to get taken down immediately by Tarek. He's going to go for a second one, but Ape's going to be there to trade that out, but takes a tremendous amount of damage as well. And now JDM from Long A, they didn't realize that there was going to be two over there, and Pex falls as well. So great start to the round now for CLG as they're able to get the two-for-one to start things off. And again, that aggression coming out from the CLG side, definitely paying dividends early in this matchup. Yeah, Mo, get, Mo getting being far too far too carefree coming up towards long and now disciples trying to get some kind of an entry at a force a rotation open things up for his team but the offense is completely spread out from one another they've got to regroup and find something but jdm is still in the bathrooms this is what i was talking about not efficient trades they haven't even cleared it out yet and he's going to be in a great position to, to spread on ape who's at 22 hp if he decides to go for the peak, which looks like he's going to, he spots him out, and that's the bomb carrier as well. So, little miscue there from the uh, from the ace side as Ape loses the bomb over by bathrooms, and now look at how cordoned off they are. Look at how spread out the defense or the offense is. The number seven man's already pushed all the way up. That's Rabbit by Truck. He's trying to make his way in towards that A bomb site. They do manage to take down one, but they still have Cutler over here at long yeah. A, and now they're going to play a little ring around the rosy. They don't realize that the other player is over there. The bomb's going to go ahead and move up here, but Cutler is in a great position. Yeah, but he's going to get that flank kill, and now it's just down to one. He's actually managed a way to work his way through bank. He does spot the legs of one. Makes a footstep, and I don't think they heard it, but by process of elimination, they go, oh, there's the shots. Gives away his position. Can't hit him. Finally sprays one down. This is actually manageable, but he's able to swing around and drop him with a nice headshot, but just too many players sacrifice to take over that uh, bathroom control mode going down very, very early, so... CLG's going to pick up a second one, and that's going to get some economy their way. They're going to build some things up, and... Actually, if Ace wanted to right now, it wouldn't be the worst decision in the, in the world for them to buy what they could. Buy some AKs, buy some Galils or Tech 9s and get some utility and just keep the pressure on because they know they forced three rebuys there. 
And you see JDM already picking up the AWP for the CT side. So if they do go for that buy, this is going to be a very expensive round here for the CT side. But they do opt to go for the pistol, save a couple of flashes and a smoke in the hands of Disciple and Ape, respectively. It looks like they're going to be going for that B bomb site. Maybe a uh, flashback to the pistol round as they go ahead and smoke off the long B. So already using that one, they're going to flash over the wall and go around towards short side. And let's see what kind of defense they have here on the CLG side. Already picking up and around the corner. A little bit of a flashbang. This nade, though. There it is, Disciple they're, they're, down and their out. Nades, their nades have just done so much damage. And even, even just the spray through the smoke. So Ace already just getting brutalized. One member down. No damage taken by CLG so far. They're sitting very, very pretty in this round here. Now, there's really nowhere for Ace to go. They've kind of locked themselves into this sewer hit. You know, Moe's going to try and make his way up the stairs and, and gain some map control. Make sure they're not flanked. But uh, they, there's really nowhere they can fall back to to change their angle of attack. Yeah, and still spamming through the door there. You can actually see, I believe that's Haze that's spamming through. He's taking a little bit of damage from it, but it's not that big of a deal. And now Terex is finally going to get on the action. That's Ape down and out, and now that stairwell control has been completely negated, and they're still going to try to force their way in towards this A bomb site. And finally, Pex is going to be able to find one, but it's simultaneously taken down. Haze and JDM finishing them off. Mo and Pex fall. That's going to be CLG picking up their fourth round now as Ace yet to get any momentum in their favor, and now Mo picks up the off. He'll need to be a little bit more cautious here going up against J.D. Ebb, who's, you know, a very strong offer in his own right at the moment, just a stand-in for CLG, but he's going to head over towards the B-bomb site. That's JDM. Mo is actually going to be the one headed. He's actually headed towards A once again, so sending four players towards A one more time, but this is going to be aggressive push by CLG. Rabbit catches FNS off guard. Hayes is also brought down a 9 HP. JDM's going to get a pick over towards B to equalize, but still so much pressure being put on. And there's Mo with that A to B close range. And look at these trades coming through for Ace. Nicely done by them. It's down to a two on three very, very quickly. And Ace has the option here to slow things down. But it looks like they're going to continue to press for this A bomb site. And this is right where Tarek is playing. And he's got a great angle behind these boxes. Pex does manage to find one. But Tarek, one, two. Can he get the third? And down to a one versus one. It's a 1v3 situation that's been completely neutralized here. And Pex from the other side of that smoke is trying to get his way over towards the truck. There is a little bit of a gap over there as well. And he's going to drop a flashbang around the corner. And look at that. Pex playing this smart. Drops all the way down. He's going to go for B. Yeah, I don't think Tarek has any idea. He's still throwing nades, holding the corners, hoping that Molly was going to force him out, and he's going to be completely caught off guard by this. So, Pex, the Wily veteran. Oh, he goes for the fake, though. Just get the bomb down. He made the play. But no worries. Tarek is still over here at A, and the bomb gets planted, so Tarek's feeling a little foolish at the moment. And he actually wasted a little bit of time. He got stuck on the gas tank there on the truck, so not able to slide, doing a little bit of surfing right there, and goes ahead and pops, flashes his way out, and he's going to slide on down into the pit and see if he can make it over towards this bomb site, going to go ahead and tap the bomb. And now he's got so many angles to watch and making a whole lot of noise after tapping it the first time. And now Peck's going to come around from short. But Tarek is going to get the better of him and the defuse to boot. So Tarek winning that one versus three. Yep. And that, that's why I said they needed they, they have the opportunity to slow things down. There was still a minute on the clock when he got those initial two kills. You know, so it's just slow things down. Make sure you're clearing everything. You have no need to to, to go in there like that. Uh, and that's just a little bit, you can tell, a little bit of a new roster. Uh, getting a little bit excited after they they open things up so beautifully and just kind of let it slip away. So a lot of uh, a lot of money a lot of money damage dealt there. So they're going to keep the pressure on one more time. Moe's going to pick up another op. And once again, this seems to be their default. One towards B and four taking, uh, taking Fountain very, very quickly. This time Tarek's pushed up, though. Yeah, very aggressive here, and Moe's going to take a pop shot, but he's also going to take a tremendous amount of damage, and JDM there to support his teammate Tarek as well, so he's going to find that opening pick, and Rabbit's down and out. Disciple going to be your lurker over here by the B bomb site, but he's not going to really find anything as he's completely smoked off from long B. Bomb is working its way around through party, and JDM's going to be able to find a second one. Looking for a third, possibly. Yeah, he's been playing very well, and actually a pop flash. FNS gets caught out before it pops, but he manages to pull his gun out and win the battle anyway, so... JDM being very mobile, that, that bait and switch was executed so nicely between him and Tarek, and now Tarek's got a solid angle on Pex, and he does spray him down, but Ape trades it off, but still the damage is done, to one on four at the moment, and JDM's still alive with that AWP, Apes doesn't really have much to work with here, and, oh, JDM does spot the shoulder, I, don't, I guess Ape couldn't see him there, he didn't take a shot at all, so JDM finds a third kill, and that op is just doing wonders for him at the moment.
Yeah, and you know, it's good to see him back in top form because he's been kind of in a slump as of late. I played with him a couple of matchmaking pugs and stuff like that on ESEA, and just he didn't have that flair that he had had like two or three seasons ago. So it's really good to see him coming back and stepping up with that AWP, being able to be a great fill-in here for CLG as they move forward. And no word as of yet if he's going to be a uh, permanent member of CLG, but right now he's doing work. He's sitting at 7-3 and three on the scoreboard, that AWP being absolutely crucial. And look at that Molotov work already, that incendiary – Followed up by the smoke and completely shut down. They're going to push on through. And now FNS, one, two. Can he get a third? Yes, he can. Pistol out. Not in time. CZ75 a little slow on the draw. And Pex is going to be able to clean him up. And that's going to leave it all on Disciple. And Pex at Nate's going to do tremendous amount of damage to Disciple. And Pex getting spammed up through the smoke as well. They know they're both over there. And this is just completely shut down now from the CLG side. Yeah, and this, you know, they haven't won any of the early battles. Aside from that one round where Tarek wins that one on three, so you can see the mistake they made giving that clutch up to him, giving that massive round away. It's really hurt them because that's the most success they had, and, and they didn't end up winning it. So now Cutler's got himself in a great position, and Pex and Disciple are just going to be forced to walk right back through the sewers over towards B, and they'll have to check this corner, or else Cutler's going to get a couple easy kills. He does get the first one. He swings out, doesn't win that battle. But now the rotations are going to come in. Pex has been spotted out. Hayes has a nice position at the boxes. Pex still can't find the kill, and Hayes takes him out so quickly up to 7-0 here for CLG. Got a great start for them so far. Completely silencing Ace, and like you said, with the exception of that one solid round that they had that Tarek won that 1v3, they just haven't had any momentum going whatsoever. And that economy on their side, they're going to go for a double eco here. Yeah, and you can just see kind of how uncomfortable Ace is at the moment with this new roster. This is a map. This is this will probably be the last map they really go over, uh, and it's unfortunate they're playing it so early on in the season. But you can see when they're when they're playing this fast, trying to do these B rushes, trying to do all these quick plays, it just means you're not comfortable playing slow on a map you're not sure of. Derek's gonna do a pop flash. He's gonna spray it on Mo. He's gonna get a second one as well. It is an eco round. Rabbit trades him off, but there's Hayes opening up the door and just spraying his way through two more so quickly down to just Pex. He does take JMC, JMZ, or JM, JDM out. Oh my Whoa. lord. Whoa. Whoa. JMZ is a completely different player, bro. I know. <laughs> These consonants, man. Woo! All the abbreviations. JDM. JDM. You got there eventually, and that's all that matters. <laughs> CLG up 8-0 now, coming forward into the ninth round, and we're going to see a full gun round coming out. And Mo is going to have that AWP, but he's only gotten one kill so far with it. We'll see whether or not he can actually put it to use this round. He's going to be going up towards the B-bomb site once again. Now they're going to go dr for the drop. And uh, Tarek played very aggressively there last round. They're going to go for a slower strategy here on the A side. All of these rounds have been over so fast. I mean, we're already into the ninth round, and it's barely been ten minutes. Yeah, it's been quick, and that's what I was talking about, them playing fast. I mean, this is the first one they've really slowed things down, so they're being a little bit more cautious. They're going to try and work some picks, and that's part of the issue. You see Mo down at 1-8, and eight, and a lot of people might criticize that, but they've been playing so fast. They're not giving their upper time to find anything, uh, and especially on, you know, overpass. There's so many clever positions for a CT offer to be placed, so he's having a tough time uh, because of those two factors combined. There you go. The first initial damage is going to be dealt. Hayes getting a little bit too aggressive over there by Long B, trying to gather some information for his team. He's going to be able to spot out Rabbit over there, and they do exchange fire. A little damage on both sides, but both of them do walk away with their lives. Yeah, and, they're, and, and Ace is still so spread out. Finally, now they're going to put three people, including the bomb, over towards B. And there's Pex with a kill onto A, so that's going to force some rotations. That's a good entry kill to get. And there's Disciple finding a gap, picking up Hayes, who got aggressive once again. You just called it too aggressive. He kept it up. He got punished. Now they're going to enter into this bomb site. But CT's had a good defense here, but Cutler just he falls. So another round of great entries and great trades from Ace here. But again, Tarek stepping it up, and that smoke, it's not all-encompassing. Disciple's going to go down, and if he sprays through the smoke, oh, I thought he was going to go ahead and try to throw another couple of kills over in that direction. But Mo's still not able to get that AWP working right now, and just going to go ahead and sneak into the bomb site and try to go for that defuse. But that smoke is going to dissipate. Pex picks him off, and Ace finally on the board here, and it comes in the ninth. And that's, I mean, that's good slow play. They gave their they gave their players chances, you know, took things cautiously, cleared things out over towards A, then they regrouped towards B and allowed those A members with the map control that they cautiously took, they were able to find a gap in the defense, find that pick that gave them an opening. So uh, good stuff there that round from Ace. And if they can continue that, that'll, that'll be huge for them moving forward. Right, and you, like, are. you look at you look at look at how damaged the economy is for CLG. Very very weak, despite winning eight rounds in a row. They've gotten beaten up a couple times, so this is a very precarious situation in terms of their economy.
Well, you know, they've got 9,999,990 rounds to go. So we'll see whether or not they can get that economy going there in their favor here very, very shortly. But Mo with the AWP, he was able to survive last round, so no rebuy necessary for him. And, you know, he's still sitting at 1-8 and eight right now and not able to utilize that AWP to his favor as of yet. And, again, he's just going to get shut down at the beginning of this round. Tarek does spot out Pex at party as well, so he's going to gather a lot of information for his team as he takes down Mo. Yeah, a really nice pop flash from JDM allows Tarek to peek. So JDM playing a little bit of the support role this round when he doesn't have an AWP in his hands. And now they can just fall back. They can turtle. Cutler has an aggressive position at long, and they can bait for him. And this eventually, you know, with that with Mo going down like that, they're still so far away from taking any kind of bathroom control or A control. So they're eventually just going to fall back towards B. It's really their only option. Well, we'll see if you're right here. That bomb is going to get picked up onto the back of Pex, and he's going to make his way back through T-spawn towards the B-bomb site. So it's exactly what you called. And Hazed going to drop down. FNS going to snap around the corner, and he's going to be able to find one. But Disciple answers back right onto Hazed's face. Nice shot from him. We're going to see if this execution holds true here as they're going to try to make their way up and towards this bomb site. They smoke everything off. Nice shot from Disciple again onto FNS. And now JDM's got to try to hold on to this bombsite all by his lonesome while his teammates rotate in. He's got Cutler coming around from the squeaky door. He's going to be able to neutralize Ape, and now we're down to a two versus three. And Pex turning the wrong way at the wrong time, and Tarek picks up two more for his quota for the day. Yeah, that defense on the retake just collapsed after that first kill came in. Like you said, the timing packs a little bit unfortunate, but finding success in these slower-paced rounds, they're able to get in there and get the bomb planted. Unfortunately, they can't just they can't convert it into a win. So a nice retake from CLG once again, and the retakes. You know, the last one they really had to do was on the pistol round, and it's all those flanks. You know, pushing up in the door, they have that bathroom control, so it allows them to have that quick flank. And you know, Ace has got to have some kind of response to take that over to push that back. So when the retakes come in, they don't have to watch you know three or four different angles. They can only watch one or two. Absolutely, and right now. Tarek is having himself a match, 18-6-4, and, and we talked about how how much of an impact fragger he is for this CLG squad, and when he is on, he is lethal, and he is showing you exactly how strong he is. And now he's going to go for a play up top here. He's going to be able to find one. That's going to be Pex down and out. Rabbit did get spotted out. Mo coming around the corner. He's going to find that AWP frag. He takes him down, and Disciple now trying to get a little bit aggressive, and he does finally manage to take down Tarek, but now he's on 20. And that's going to be a two-for-one trade there in favor of CLG. So the man is just on a mission tonight, and he is proving his worth round in and round out. Yeah, really no response to his early aggression round after round. You're exactly right. He's He's been massive, and JDM playing it smart, modeling out the stairs, forcing him to run through it. They take some damage, but it is down to a three-on-three, -three and they will be able to pick up the bomb. And actually, no, Cutler has it on top of the stairs, so Cutler's going to be able to get one here. He's holding a real clever angle. Nice headshot on a rabbit. Now Disciple's got to do the work, and he does. Ape chimes in as well, so very fastly down to a one-on-two. But they don't know where Hayes is. He's actually playing over towards the B bomb site, and this is the correct place to be. Yeah, and he is playing this so smart. Going to let them run right in. He's playing from the pit if he goes for the peak now. Well, he spots out Ape, takes him down, coming around the corner, and Hayes in a 1v2, clutches it out. And man, if it wasn't for bad luck, Ace would have absolutely no luck. They just picked the wrong bomb site. Well, you know, it's another situation where they have 30 seconds on the clock. You know, they make a lot of noise heading towards B. So if Ace, I mean, you said it, he's playing it perfectly because he's getting so much information from the footsteps. So if they slow things down in those situations and they clear everything out of the bomb site, like they could have both of them wrapped on the site, cleared out that water pit and had a safe plant uh, or at least traded the kill there. So uh, some of these clutch situations, the players feel a little bit uncomfortable with each other, it looks like, on the, on the side of Ace. And JDM getting the wall bang headshot on the Pex to open things up. He's going to fall back and take another angle. Going to find a second one. Can he get a third? He does drop the bomb carrier. FNS is there for support. He's going to peek out. Takes down Mo. Rabbit going to be your last man standing, and he's going to get sprayed up and down by Hayes. Taken out in 11 to 1. And this is a landslide right now for CLG. <laughs> it really is. And it's all down to this bathroom control. You look at JDM. He's had some great rounds. You know, we talk about Tarek a lot, but, you know, even just one or two picks with that AWP in, in crucial rounds from JDM, he's able to get a kill. It's there, There's so many awkward, awkward op angles in the bathrooms. He gets one, he repositions himself, falls back a little bit, gets another one, and then he can re-aggress or continue to fall back as he decides or as he goes. So playing those bathrooms very effectively, and he's doing it once again with a new angle. Yeah, and again, you talked about this earlier on, about his mobility and everything. And if, Oh, I thought he was going to continue to hold that, but never, never mind. Ape going to peek before that smoke blooms, and he's going to pay the price, and that's a AWP down. Pardon me, that's going to be two members down now as Mo yeah, goes down as well. So kills. They're just feeding yeah. him kills now. No flashes, no smokes, no nothing. And he's actually going to go long. There's two players there, so it's going to be a turkey shoot. 
And Tarek playing from the bathrooms. He's going to drop another bomb carrier. That's Pex down and out. He's got Rabbit around the corner and Disciple at long. And Disciple goes down and Rabbit, now your last man standing. And that's three frags again for JDM on the gun round. So, you know, continuing to prove his worth and exactly what they needed. You know, that AWP, that mobility with that AWP as well. And he is just doing a sensational job thus far. He's sitting at 13 and Tarek is sitting at 21. Yeah, and there's just there's just no response. JDM just feels so comfortable. There's nothing that Ace is doing that is that is pushing him out of position or or making him feel any pressure whatsoever. He's just holding those long range angle battles and winning all of them. So yeah, it's it's just kind of a long range murder here from CLG on Ace. Absolutely. So again, we see that AWP from JDM. Now the economy for the CLG side, it's still not that strong. So a victory for Ace, uh, you know, it's pretty late in the game, obviously, but. Yeah, they still they've never had a fantastic economy throughout this entire matchup, with the exception of maybe Tarek, who's just been sitting on tremendous amounts of kills the entire time. And look at this; they're going to go for a pop flash out around the corner, and FNS he's going to come under fire. And talking about fire, Disciple goes down to the Molotov burn, and just like that, Cutler takes up that cup. Rabbit's going to get aggressive, and he is going to get destroyed by a nade. Cutler getting aggressive on top of the barrels is going to be able to take him down. And now the aggression over here by the bathrooms. You can see Tarek and JDM playing that buddy system and doing it well as of, uh, just like we saw in the Luminosity matchup with Anger and Lex. And there it is. Look at that. Covering his teammate perfectly, and finally Pex is going to be able to take down Tarek, but he's still got JDM to contend with over there, who does have 13 health, but he is going to be able to be given time to fall back. Molly and a smoke grenade around the corner. <laughs> and that just shuts it down. So JDM, even when he's not getting his kills, he's playing this very, very smart. And they're not going to expect him to be right behind it with this Tech-9. And there's Hayes actually coming in to bail him out, sprays down two of them in bathroom. So just staying alive, JDM is being effective. 13-1. to 1. And right now, kind of the opposite story on the ace side. You see Tarek sitting at 22, 9, and 7, and Mo on the bottom at 1, 1, and 13. Kind of expected him to do a little bit more with that AWP, but he just hasn't been able to get anything going. He's been the victim, the first victim in almost every single round that we've seen so far. It's just it's just so hard if you don't have a, a plan, you know, being a new team, uh, to, to take over that bathroom from a strong opera like JDM, who's playing great, and now we're going to see a B-Rush. Some trades come out quickly, two for two, it's a three on three. There is only one player left in this V-Bombster, now that's Hayes playing around the pillar. He's gonna swing out, he's gonna get aggressive, gets a couple nice headshots too there on a Pex at eight. Traps it down into a one on three, and there's Mo, your last man standing, sitting behind a smoke. He knows there's one here at the stairs, hasn't spotted his feet quite yet, and as this clears, who's gonna see him first? JDM spots him out, and Mo's not able to connect with the spray. Barely at all whatsoever, so JDM survives with 73 after about 15 bullets, and that's going to be a quick and dominant half from CLG. And I'm going to throw up the PIP real fast because it looks like my end game actually crashed there. So we can talk about that first half for a second while I hop back into the game and get us back into the server here in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. So hang tight for just one moment, and we'll get this one going for you in just a second. Yeah, that was just, uh, just a little bit brutal. <laughs> Well, we've, we've talked about a lot. They just look a little bit uh, ill-prepared, especially for overpass. Taking things very, very fast and in every facet, you know, even in those... those they, they, I mean, they've had some rounds where they put themselves in good positions and they just fail to clean out bomb sites properly, and uh, it's just some fundamentals that they're missing uh, with new teammates. Absolutely. So, try to get back in here in time for the pistol round. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it for the very beginning of this one, so hang tight for just one second. Hopping right back on in there. Yet? You're still good. Okay, good. Take your time. All right, well, back in the saddle, though. We are good to go. So a big first half for Counter Logic Gaming. We are going live on three here, and we're going to see what they have for us here into the second half. Well, it's going to have to be an absolutely monstrous... Defensive stand for Mace. It's going to have to start with this pistol round, and it's going to be tough. I'm not sure they have it in them. And Tarek, if he can continue being so very effective in the early portions of the round. Actually, this is a good call right here. Just a blind counter. Ace pushing four players up towards mid and stairs. All five members of CLG are this way, so here's the gun battle. Ape and Rabbit getting into it. Tarek's going to fall early. Disciple's going to peek out long, take some damage, but Rabbit's combining for another kill. So quickly, a five on three. Right you are, and there it is. Disciple's actually going to get tagged up here in the back. 
And uh, not going to be able to find too terribly much damage onto him. He's still standing with 35 coming around the corner. He does manage to fall there. JDM's going to get the clock frag onto him. And now look at this. Ape and his teammate Mo are going to be rotating back around towards the A bomb site. And all three members of the terrorist force are going back towards B. And this is the right call here. They've only got one to beat over there. And that's going to be Mo. He's going to be a little late to the party. Throws the flashbang out to short B. And they're going to rotate two around towards long B. They've given them plenty of time to rotate. But Mo's going to get caught out here from Pit. And surely he's, he's going to fall here. He's got to stay alive, but he's just going to drop. Yep, that's that's not good at all. So this this man advantage is squandered now. Cutler's going to get the bomb planted. CLG's actually in great positioning. So and actually Ace is splitting up a lot. They have one player going for a flank. That's Pex. He leaves his teammates. Rabbit's got an angle, but he's got to find the kill. He gets Goosh, and now it's going to be all on to Pex to get some kills on this flank. And FNS is in a spot. I do not believe he's going to check. Well, he does look at it, but he's not going to be able to get the frag anyway as JDM chimes in onto Rabbit as well, and that's going to leave it all on Ape with only 2 HP from the upper bomb, upper area. And JDM fire, FNS, pardon me, finally tapping away with that Glock's going to find that frag, and we are already on map point. Yeah, that was, it was just, it's just unfortunate because Ace actually had a great, great situation in that pistol round, and they kept three players over at A. They only left Mo in the B bomb set. They could have had one player just, you know, helping him out, providing some kind of support. We talked about, or you talked about before the map began, that there's some quick rotates from A to B, so don't be afraid to to split things up and do a two to two. Have him play far back in that in that you know sniper's nest up in heaven up uh, on the balcony, so you, you know you can have that fast rotate while supporting your teammate at B. And just unfortunate turn of events there for for Ace. Yeah, really unfortunate, and you know, the the big thing that kind of set that pistol off, I mean, Rabbit picked up a couple of nice kills at the beginning of that round, and Disciple's going to be able to find one here at Party in just a second, spamming away with that P90, not going to locate any damage, and he gets himself out of dodge from that uh, HE grenade that goes down there, but you know, that kind of one of the big things that negated that pistol round strategy was the fact that they pushed three members around towards the long side, they didn't go up towards Fountain, so... Nice shot from Disciple, but that's going to be completely null and void at this point as FNS takes him down. Tarek has managed to take down Pex as well. And now FNS just going to try to hold on to this rifle over here as his teammate comes around. See if JDM do, uh, decides to pick up the Galil. Nope, he's just going to run right on by it. So a two versus four to try to hold on to things in Tarek. He's going to make this a uh, impossible situation. Mo goes down. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So Tarek, your top fragger, and Mo, unfortunately, not able to get anything going on his side as he only gets one kill the entire map.